Hello and welcome to the Nerdic Gods Podcast. I'm your host, Connor Knowles, joined by the Salty Sims. Salty? Hold on. Yeah, you're always <laughs> salty. Always you are salty. Eating that salt, you know? I was salty salt. boy. I'm salty when I lose yeah. at that game. Who pisses me off? <laughs> Fucking trivia. And the me. peppery Daniel. Peppery, that's good. I love pepper. Salt and pepper. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, so, and pepper. so yeah, welcome. We are a video game podcast. Uh, we talk about video game news, uh, play little fun Everything. games at the end, and do a bunch of shit. It's all good. Today we're gonna season. start off a little bit differently. We're gonna start off with uh, the Ubisoft. Was it called Play Forward? Right? Ubisoft if, Forward. Is it Way Forward? Ubisoft Play Forward. forward. Just well, Forward, just, not yeah, Play. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, am I getting just... Play from? Play was the EA thing. Whatever. Ubisoft Forward is in a couple days from now, so we're going to be doing some predictions for that. I think we're each brought three predictions, right? Aye. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go through three predictions for each of us, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Uh, Sims, start with you. What's your first prediction for this Ubisoft thing? Watch Dogs Legions this year. This year? This year. Uh, in okay. this, December. You want to put like a firm date on it? December. December. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not ready. December the 11th. The 11th. You're so right. Ow. Video games never come out that late. Smash did. Uh, Smash Brothers did. Yeah. Yeah, Suck but that's that. Nintendo. They can get away with it. Like, Watch Dogs can't get away with that. Nintendo can, sure. They should. Yeah. I don't believe that. I like it, though. I mean, uh, that does got to come out soon. I don't know about this year, though. I feel like yeah, they'll push that a little bit. this spring. year. I need to see that game, man. I'm well excited. Yeah, you just want to play as that grandma. Nah, man. Can't wait. Or run around, slip people's throats. All right, yeah, I like it. Someone's got to take a watch. That's pretty good. Daniel, what's your first prediction? So my prediction is... Uh, you're getting a new Rayman game. It's going to be coming out in February. Ooh, I like this. I like the... I have an exact date, like Sims, but... Rayman Legends has been way too long. We needed a third one to that series. Yeah, that was all the way win in like 2012. It was on 360. Yeah, yeah. No, they ported it about four or yeah, five. Maybe it was 2013 because they ported it to the new consoles too. Yeah, PS4, I remember Xbox playing it one. when I first got the Xbox One, which is like right when it launched, right around that. Yeah, so it might have been 2013. Yeah, well, new Rayman February, early next year. Yeah, where's that guy been? It's been all about the rabbits. Yeah, they they push the rat. I think maybe the French like the rabbits or something. They just take it over, yeah. But they have like an amusement park or something in France. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Weird shit. All right, my first prediction. <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with a banger. End of the show. Right. Lights go dark. Right. Get oh, the I'm scared. Right. So when we hear that, and green light flashes. Yeah, right? baby. It's Splinter Cell. Nice. He's back. Yes. It's Sam Fisher. Uh, oh. No release date or nothing. We'll get gameplay. It'll be like that uh, traditional Ubisoft shows like a bunch of gameplay for something that's like really far out type thing. They do this all the time. I think it and... is Sam as the main character. Yeah. <clears throat> I, don't, I feel like you don't get rid of Sam. Maybe it's like a, yeah. a pre. I think it'll be a reboot. Like a, it's a whole oh, new okay. story yeah, yeah. with Sam Fisher. Yeah. I was thinking like him being more of the man in the chair or something and then having a new agent or something. So That'd be cool too. What Splinter Cells do we prefer? Do we prefer the Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Splinter Cell or do we prefer Spl Splinter yes. Cell... What was it called? Blacklist. Not Blacklist. My favorite was Double Agent. Not... What's the one before Ooh, Blacklist? Was what was the one? Uh, oh, there's Conviction. Which is and the one Blacklist. where you, you, there was a co-op mode? Someone had nicked your daughter. Uh, co-op mode. Yeah, it was like maybe not like the first spies. one, but like most of them had co-op. Mercs versus spies. No, what was the one where they? Had, I think his daughter had been kidnapped, and then you grab some guy in the bathroom, but you could see the text in the, on the on the wall or something. It was proper, like really cool. Conviction, conviction, that. wasn't it? It's conviction. It must have been, yeah. Oh man, that was it's the best one many. by far. That was amazing. And then the one after was a bit disappointing. I didn't enjoy that. Conviction one. was. That was Blacklist. I think Conviction was a little more... That's when they had more action to it. I did like Black... Is it the one after Blacklist? Uh, it, those were the last two. and I'm not sure which order. Yeah, Blacklist was the one last... Blacklist. It was the last one Blacklist that we got. Was the 
last one. <clears throat> yeah, I think this one will be more. It, it'll be completely stealth focused, not not too much action. Like I, I don't know, it'll look really cool though. Let me see. It'll yeah, look man. beautiful. Yeah, no release date or nothing. No, uh, late twenty twenty one, maybe twenty two. <clears throat> yeah, if that even, it'll be the, of course, PS five and uh, Xbox Series X game though. And yeah, that'll be the end of the show. All right, want that so bad. It's Carl, It's Daniel's oh, time. Daniel's turn. No, it's your turn. Oh, it's your turn. What? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Gods and Monsters is shown again, and it's good. <laughs> it's good. Dude, okay, I want you to take a step further for me. It's gonna be a stretch. What's the new name? Gods and Monsters. It's Gods and Monsters. They it said is. that. They didn't. They say that they were gonna. They were dropping the name. They're rebooting it. Basically. Oh, I don't know. Monsters and Gods. Okay. Monsters. <laughs> That'd be uh, great. So, are um, we getting are we getting stamina wheels? <laughs> no, I think it will be called Monsters and Gods, not not Wild in Breath, full title. Not Wild. In <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't know. I think it'd be a bit more like Shadow Colossi, Colossus C. I mean, you go around fighting these big monsters, something like that, or like cartoonish. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, that's my prediction. It's good. I'd be happy if it's good. If it looks good. If it doesn't look good, then no. I hope, because that league gameplay looked pretty bad. Yeah, terrible. Actually, yeah. didn't see it. No, you didn't. It looked just like oh, a really empty Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that wheel. was like an uh, alpha, alpha version of the game. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. It's cool, though, that they have uh, new IPs like that, though. Like, I like that they... Keep just making it soft always tries thing yeah uh daniel it's your yes. second prediction so, second prediction and you guys are not thinking about we are getting another nintendo team up we're all we're it's just going to be mario plus rabbits 2 and i guess a sequel to that game yeah i can see that i, mean, we've I think that game that. did well enough yeah uh, i don't really have a release date maybe next year be like a summer next year or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I could totally see that. Do you guys when play that the game? first one? Is that like the first year of the Switch? Like what was the first? Yeah, 2017. What, the Rabbids Vimera? Did you played it at all? No, I never played it. The Rabbids really my game. genre, though. Yeah. yeah the the, Rab- the Mario, Mario plus Rabbids. Rabbids. I've got it. Oh, man, you should play it. It's so never fun. It. It's so good. My yeah, I, I, I'm just not into those uh, strategy type games. I don't know. Maybe that one would be it's, cool though. Cause it's got it's more Nintendo, games. so it's not that in depth. Very child friendly. I imagine. It's challenging. The last like few worlds get pretty challenging. Some of the boss fights get pretty intense. But you just want to try out like that first world. It's just fun. That's cool. I like that though. I like when it gets more challenging towards the end. Yeah. Okay, my oh, second section. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is shown. We get a big old cinematic gameplay thing. Uh, it looks cool. And it's got a 2021 release year at the end. Oh, of the release year. year two? This yeah. game has been in yeah. the ether. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you remember the last time they showed it, they showed like this weird tech demo gameplay thing of it. It was like, they at least have that done. So this game is being made, right? It's not like it was just. But it was that. like, wasn't it the monkey guy flying around that ship? It was like a tech thing. Yeah, I don't know. And they like zoomed out and showed like the whole world and like that whole city was done. So I was like, uh, I mean, they at least got something, right? I mean, how big could this game be? Did you guys ever play the first one? Oh, I know it's beloved, but yeah, I played I mean, it on uh, 360. It was like backwards compatible. I think I it's, rent. I rent it's okay. it. I never, never really played it. Yeah, I honestly didn't understand the like the hype for it. Uh, when I was playing it, isn't it the it combat system or something? The combat system isn't really good at all. Uh, it's oh, more, okay. it's kind of more of a platformer. It's it reminds me of like Jack and Daxter type game. Okay. Like, it's, it's kind of more like that. You get like a cool little camera though, and like it turns into like a Pokemon Snap mode. But I don't it's know. Just a cult. It's a cult hit. You know, people like that yeah. game. Yeah, I think just at the time people really liked it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the second one turns out. But I do think it will be there. It's finally the time for it to come out. All right, Sims, to your third prediction. Last one. Division 2 finally goes crossplay. Say that again? 
Division Two finally mm-hmm. goes crossplay. Oh, okay. Cross platform. Nah, man, it's safe. That's safe. It's safe. Right, it's too crazy last time. I gotta be safe. All right, I need some are points. They doing, are they doing anything else with it? Like, with that announcement, or is that just like the announcement? I, that's they're going to be like I, the new expansion announced, and then like, oh, now and it's also coming. Maybe like, ne- maybe next. Like, maybe so. This is my prediction. My prediction's done. So maybe they say, oh, um, this is next year's content. You know, we've got a big year, and then next year uh, in the summer or whatever, we've got platform cross platform for everybody and cross progression. Why etc 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 safe mate in the bank take it home with you you can have that one he's game on i can't believe it's not already crossplay no i can't play that still division 2 sick is it oh it's so good i never liked the Uh, gameplay you're an idiot moving on it seems okay it seems very just plays like shit though do you think i think it's smooth as oh is it i don't know something something about it feels like a worse gears to me (laughs) I'm not, I can see that. I'm not angry. I'm just very disappointed. It just doesn't have that like that that heft like Gears has. You know, it tries to be like that though. No, it doesn't. Like, it, well, Gears is very plodding and you're this grounded. Is... And it feels like you're like sliding all over the place. I don't know. It's weird. I'm like he, a young, he looks like, so disappointed. Look at his his face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really not that good. Game set in America kind of sucks. Him, Daniel. I mean, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Daniel, uh, so what is your my number three prediction? I'm gonna snatch it before anybody else takes it. I'm sorry, because nobody took it. I think it's finally happening. Other than or so, I think we are now getting a new Prince of Persia no, rebooted. No. Prince of Persia. It'll be right. one or the other. Prince of Persia. I think, or Star, I right? think we have seen the divide for a long time. Uh, Assassin's Creed going more action and RPG. Need more forming in stealth and i think that's the direction persia is going to go that'd be really cool if they just made that like traditional assassin's creed exactly stealth the cool mechanic of rewinding time and make it like some cool platforming and stuff that'd be great i'd love that princess of persia princess of- that. yeah just there you go that. that's the reboot princess of persia like that just like that that wasn't my idea someone said that when uh there's that epic games tech demo came out I forgot. Oh, okay. Two. Two yeah, final like, one. Come. My final one is there will be a new IP, Sean. It's a uh, sci-fi space game. It's, uh, it, we get some gameplay. I don't know what it will be called, but it's being written by the, the fuck the Oscars guy. I forget his name right now. <laughs> Joseph Forrest? Yeah. He hinted <laughs> at a while ago that he's writing a different game, Not that he's not involved in directing it. I forget where he, I think he said this on Twitter or something. And is I think he, maybe okay. just one of the other Ubisoft uh, teams just, like, hired him for a writer. And they, they don't have, a, like, a sci-fi game, like a space game. And if you guys remember, it was in Watch Dogs 2. There was a teaser trailer for a now-canceled space game. Do you remember this? I didn't play it. No? Oh, okay. Uh, well, I didn't actually see it in the game. I didn't play it either. But I just remember seeing it on YouTube. But it was like the space game. Was like, I think it was like supposed to be first person. You could like hack into something and get this trailer for it. But then that got canceled. But it's like they need Ubisoft needs a space game. There's no space. Where's space? Yeah, in? they don't really do space. They do like uh, Ghost Recon, like sci-fi <laughs> that way. That Just it. Tom Clancy. Yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom Clancy, Clancy seems like so like modern day to me. I guess the vision a little bit with, like a lot. Oh, um, Ghost Recon has like stealthy stuff. Like one of the older ones had like a camo suit and. There's some sci-fi, but it's just not that futuristic. Very little. Take me to space, Ubisoft. Just do it. That's where I want to go. Me to space. I really That's don't I like space games. Really? Uh, Mass, Mass Effect? Effect? Yeah, I, the, the, Dead Space and, space and Mass Effect being the exception. That's Dead it. Space? The Halo? Oh, I could Halo. probably name off like 20 other space games you like. God, say that. Don't lie. <laughs> You're hurting my soul. Hurting my soul. Gears of War, mate. All the way. It's worse kind of in space. It's on a different planet. It's on a different planet. You're right. Sarah. A little bit. A little bit spacey. Outer Worlds, you know, like? Outer Worlds looks great. Oh, yeah. Outer Worlds is great. I'm off. I'm a bit through it. I don't know. I just, it wasn't Fallout. Moving on. I agree with that. Moving on. We will now go on to what we've been playing. And I will start because I want to talk. Please. 
Talk to uh, me. Well, let's start with this. I platinum the last of those part two. Awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Sims, I think you did too, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, Sims did too. What, I didn't do it. Yay! No, I didn't do it. Ooh, <laughs> Daniel. You so, I don't you so get some platinums, Daniel. <laughs> Sorry, I don't platinum games. Boo. But yeah, I had a great time playing through the second time. Uh, we're doing a spoiler cast right now. That should be up soon. Uh, a lot of yeah, costume uh, changes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, costume changes. <laughs> we'll probably have like three costume changes in that. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like. I almost liked playing through it the second time more than I did the first. Oh, I did. Yeah, I want to ask did. you this: spoilers. Uh, sure. I can't even ask the question then. Can't. Do so it. We're gonna spoil the last of us two for like ten seconds. No. Ten seconds. Oh, go on. Then. Seconds. Give me ten seconds. Go on. You like playing as Ellie or Abby more? Abby. <laughs> the platinum. Abby. Okay. Yeah. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Right. Seconds are done. We're good. We're good. We're back. No more spoilers. I promise. I We're didn't even know what you said. I was too busy counting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Abby goes in. Uh... Right, so. And then... I was you got a question? T- I did, yeah. We played differently, no, didn't we? That was it. We played diff- I I skipped all the cutscenes. You did. Yeah, you skipped all the cutscenes. Didn't you just like end up skipping to like the last part too? Cause that, I like, got the to the end. I got to. I can't. We can't talk about it. I got to one point and then chapter selected. Because there's like a good half an hour, 45 minutes that there's nothing to collect. You okay. stealth most of the platinum. Oh no, yeah, I just went in. I fucked up. I didn't at all. Yeah. Everybody on my second playthrough. Yeah, yeah I, didn't know. Know. I was just like running sneak. in there and beating the shit out of guys mm. in my second playthrough. Because I was playing on Light Plus, so that was pretty easy. Okay. There's a couple of fights I still couldn't do that, but you know. And plus, you have your, all your upgrades at that point, too. Yeah, you got everything. It's everything. Yeah. So you like, both did it. What was the hardest? Achievement to get both of you. Uh, there isn't one. Yeah, the, nothing's really hard. It's all collectibles. It's just collectibles. The collect- there's a lot of collectibles. <clears throat> I mean, if I had to say which one's hard, is it, it'd be the coins because those are so damn hard to find. Mm. If you were trying to do that without a guide, you would. Like, you'd that one in you'd the have pool to play it about five about. times. The one in the pool, yeah. the one in the vendor machine. Oh, yeah. You had to like, break the vending machine. Because like, we, we broke it. We got halfway through the game and then found out you could actually break into these vending machines and get health. Oh, really? Um, Didn't I, I know you do that. There you go, lot. So then... Um, There's a note in one of the vending machines. Yes, too. on a, on a Coke yeah. can. So um, yeah. we ended up breaking all the vending machines, just looking for collectibles, and then there was a coin in the in the coin, you know, like the coin dispenser. But we got that the first time. But go for that guidebook, I was like, you son of a bitch. You son of a, son bitch. Of a bitch. There's one where you jump over... And you, if you don't turn around, which you, nine times out of ten you wouldn't turn around, and there's a collectible on the shelf. Fuming. Yeah, man, those collectibles. Yeah, th- those are probably the hardest thing. Other than that, it's just all collectibles. Pretty easy. Trophy overall. I kind of wish they had like a hard mode, honestly, for like The Last of Us. I don't know. That kind of would have been fun. If you had to beat it in hard I mode. I think they're going for the accessibility there, weren't they? I think a lot of games will go that way. I yeah, think as that's we, fair. I think as we grow up, I think a lot of games will get easy modes. Especially like even Dark Souls, I think that have that easy mode for for accessibility. I'd take that. Maybe I'd actually play those games. So. I've got Sekiro, um, and I've had it for a year, and I'm just scared of it. Just scared. Yeah. Just scared of it. Honestly, it's, like, it's I know. Haunting your dreams. Sounds stupid, but yeah. I was like, I know, I, I don't want to die. I'm in the difficulty. I just don't think those games play well. So that's probably not what people want to hear <laughs> you know because i know people like that and then if people do like how they play that's fine like that's a game for them but for me it's just i don't think it plays well at all i think it's too plodding too slow I prefer like devil may cry a little more faster devil may cry could be really hard but i feel like my movement is just better yeah i haven't tried one since the first dark souls but i don't know with everyone saying how um Jedi Fallen Order plays exactly like it. Maybe I would like it because I really like the combat in that. I hated the combat in that. I really have more can't. options in Fallen Order. All your your uh, your your what force was the last powers. One you played, Daniel. Yeah, I've played most of them. <laughs> to oh, be really? honest, okay. I've played one, two, three, a little less of two. I played a bunch of one with just passing control around. I tried three really hard, and I tried Bloodborne. Really, Bloodborne's probably the best one. Um, yeah, I think I tried one. a little bit of Bloodborne when it was like free, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't play Sekiro very much. I didn't like I I didn't play it at all. Like I wanted to play it, and 
thought about gifting it to my friend for his birthday, but I got him a different game. I wanted just him to play it because I know he likes uh, the From games, but I didn't do that. One day I'll play it. You say? One day I'll play that game. And okay. one day. I've had it two years. <laughs> oh, Someday. I think I'm going to commit to trying uh, the next one, the, what's it called, Elden Ring. Elden Ring? Well, yeah, yeah. I want it. Me too, because it has George R. R. Martin. Right yeah, in. he's right in it, so, yeah. I, I wish it was just a that. fucking Game of Thrones game. Like, that would have been dope. I know, me too. What else have you been playing? I don't playing know if I'd like it made by then, though. Say that. What else have you been playing? Oh, okay. So then I've been playing Animal Crossing. I got oh, a Switch finally. Yeah. Boy. Started up Animal Crossing. It's weird. The The first day I had this, I didn't like this at all. I didn't like Animal Crossing at all. I was like, what, what the fuck is this? What is going on? I'm just hitting trees. I'm meeting some friends. I got uh, my boy Rod. He's there. Boy Rod. Rod is Rod. Boy is Rod. He's a he's a purple bunny that works out a lot. I think he's a bunny. Dick. And maybe he's a kangaroo of some sort. I'm not sure. I'm sure. <laughs> we um we purchased the guidebook for it the other day. It's like this oh, did thick. You? Did you? And then uh yeah, so the the first thing I got it, I was just like, okay, I'm just supposed to go shake all these fucking trees. Get get my pears, like a pears of my island, uh pick up some sticks, and then I go into a little workshop, I make some things. And then Tom Nook's just sitting there, he's telling me that I owe him like Nook Miles and Bells and shit, and he's just like, I don't know. I paid off one of the things I owe him, and then he's like, Oh, but now you owe me money for the house I'm making for you. And then he does this little sneaky laugh, he goes like hee 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 and I'm like, What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's trying to ruin you. He's Dead. a schemer. He's, he's a, a fucking schemer. Absolute bastard. So I, mean, I think I was just playing it wrong my first day because like I was I was doing what I what I do with all games I just like put it on my TV I got my pro controller and I sat there for like four hours and played it right and it was like I don't think you're supposed to play this game like that like binge no. it like that so then I've been watching this st- stupid show on Netflix called The Circle really dumb stupid fun I... but I, and like that show I don't really need to pay attention to so I just got my switch in handheld mode and I'm like just playing Animal Crossing while that's out of the background kind of like paying attention to both at the same time had much more fun with Animal Crossing that way so that's kind of what I've been doing with that now is that how you normally play it Tim? Uh, not really but See, I, I get, like I, get it. I do understand I'm just scratching the it. surface with it because like every day I'm finding like more and more things I can go do right like now I'm, you know, fishing and then digging up holes and finding new fossils and stuff. Uh, now I can go across my whole island because I got that jumping pole thing to go across the river. I was, as you... And I know, like, you end up getting, like, a whole town and a bunch of people and stuff. So, like, I feel like I'm just starting, right? Is that You're just behind everyone. Like, everyone's, like, yeah. in the end game now because they play it from day one. I mean, don't, right. you could time travel. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can speak the process right now, like. How do you do that? You just turn your internet off your Switch and then just jump forward a day. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, then there's the turnip game. But if you get turnips, you can't time travel because you're rotting your turnips. But then you got to communicate with real people. What's your See, turnip See, I haven't even prices? been introduced to that yet. Yeah, you'll, be, you'll get him Sunday. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I want like a whole town. I want to like talk to a bunch of people and get like a bunch of different things to do. It's just right now I feel like I'm very limited in what I can do. Like, I need I'm to just breaking rocks, getting clay, building up shit, you know. And it's just like this is fun and all, but like right now I still don't really fully get it. Like why this game is so praised, but I feel like I could get it, you know. Like, like maybe we'll get there in a couple of weeks. You'll have we'll to come to my house and have a look around. See what I'm yeah. Please. You gotta give me some fruit, man. I need more fruit. I've got bear fruit, mate. I'm the fruit master. Do you? You're fruit master. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, I'll take all your fruit. I'll take some sticks. Take them I'm, all, I'm, man. Gonna come to, I'm gonna come to Sims Island. I'm gonna shake his trees a little bit. You can see my wrestling ring. Oh, you got a wrestling ring. I got a wrestling see, ring. I want shit like that. I got like, a soccer awesome. pitch. I got everything, man. Everything. See, that sounds so sort of cool. I just got a bunch of tents and like I'm just starting a house. I got like barely anything in there. <laughs> Nothing in there yet. Have you played anything I wish... else? Yeah, I've been playing a couple more things on uh, Switch, just catching up. I played a little bit more Smash. Uh, I was checking out some of the DLC characters there that I haven't seen in a while. Um, I found out my Pokemon save got deleted because they don't carry over. There's no backup saves in Pokemon. No. Which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. You can't backup save for the one game that you probably should be able to backup save with. Like, it's like that and Smash. I'd be upset if I really lost, right? 
Like, I wouldn't really care if I lost like my Mario Odyssey save or whatever. I think like, your Animal Crossing is uh, the same as well. You can't carry that. That's over. ridiculous. See, that's another one where it's like, why isn't that it's back on? Yeah, they just I don't know. They don't get it. They don't. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. I don't get it at all. Yeah, excited for more Switch games come out though. We got Paper Mario next week. Uh, whatever they got this fall, Pokemon Snap soon. So you know, I'm happy I got one. I wonder if that's it for this year. I think those Mario remakes. Remember that rumor? I want to hear about them? Please. Yeah, <laughs> where are they? I don't yeah, know. it needs to be soon, doesn't it? Like I, I keep thinking it's got to be. It it's got to be soon early soon. August. It has to be. Yeah, it's got to be. I've got. Yeah, I've so got this like. Come out like what Novemberish. I've got this weird feeling that it's gonna come out with bangers. Be December. I feel like it'll come out, come out with a breath of the wild. I don't know if they want to do that this year because so much of the focus is gonna be on next gen coming out and cyberpunk and all that stuff. You know, I don't know if they want to be competing with all that. But imagine if they did. I mean, be too much, man. <laughs> great for us. We'd also be very busy. Playing all yeah, the games. Very broke. So much coming out. Yeah, I'm broke. All right, Sims, what have you been playing? I played Last of Us. We spoke about that one. So, um, yeah. I, I right. So, yeah. if anyone really wants to find me on the plate PSN and they're like, Sims, you didn't play uh, the Last of Us. You've not even played it. I right, played it on my missus account. All right, and I played it for her because I love my missus very dearly. Plus, she's got the Last of Us one platinum. So I thought, you know what, may as well. She couldn't play it again. Right, she just could I got a question. It. How many platinums would you have in all? Because I know you got like, how many do you have on your regular account? Like yours? 21, 22. 21? How many do you have on hers? She like, has how many have you got She now? has 62. She has 62? Yeah, but, but she got a lot of those? PS3 days. Yeah, yeah. I think I've got, I've oh, got okay. Resident Evil. I think I'll play Resident Evil 7 for her. Like we play it, we play it on our own. Like we play it together the first mm. time. Then if she wants, to, if she doesn't want to play it again, I'll just play it for her. Because I really enjoyed it. And I don't really want to do it all over again. Uh, Resident Evil 2. No, not 2. Didn't like 2. 3. And this one. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Not that many. No. Not many, no. Like, she's, like... She gets her own... My, my woman, yeah. Holds her own. You know what I'm she saying? Holds her own in the platinum. Yeah. I mean, 62. Her own that's show. a fuck time. Yeah, man. She's got a few. Um, I only got, like, 25. And I've been going for platinum for years now. PS three days yeah, yeah yeah i have one is that impressive no go away no um, <laughs> and I, I to be fair i only started at the ps4 days as well like i didn't play ps3 yeah i, got, I didn't make this account till i got the ps4 i so. got 80k 80k g on the xbox from xbox one days xbox 360 days so damn yeah, i'm sick man and then um i bought i, I finally purchased iron man bit the bullet Took a traded a few games in, you know, Gran Turismo, Murders, you know, just made about thirty pounds on some trading. So, put a five Take towards it. it. Yeah, well, we got all these games just lying around. I was like, are we ever gonna play them? Like, no. It's like you just. It's why I stopped buying physical, honestly, because uh, I I just ended up selling them all. <laughs> like, I would just convince myself, like, I, I don't need these. I'm just gonna get a different game, you know. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. We weren't gonna play them. So right. um, I played Iron Man. I put it all. I played it at two when Wednesday. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. Played it for a couple of hours. Really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, there's a lot. There, you beat it? A, no, no. I'm on chapter five oh, to twelve. Okay. Uh, longest I've ever. Okay. Yeah. So the longest I've ever been in VR at one point. Really enjoyable. Like the the stories. Interesting. I mean, for me like, as a Marvel fan, like, I'm interested in any kind of Marvel. Maybe I don't know if this story's uh, been repeated before. I don't think it's. I think it is an original written story. But I mean, the gameplay is VR. Like it's PSVR. It's a very limited place. Uh, very limited VR unit. There's a lot more out there. There's Oculus. There's the Index. So uh, you probably get more. I've never been in any of them VR. So I've only experienced PSVR. But I'm guessing you you get a lot more out of these ones. So you know you look around. Your environments aren't pretty, but there's you're still immersed, if that makes sense. You understand that you're in VR, but you you know that you're in this world, if that makes sense. Like you look at the look a building, you're like, well, oh, that looks a bit blocky, but you still you still like, wow, I'm in Stark's Island, and so like I think I mentioned this in the demo, like you start the game, 
he gives you a bit of a stalk. You know, he, he's talking to you in your head, and then all of a is sudden, is it Friday or is it the other one? It's Friday. Jarvis. Oh, it's Friday. Okay. So it's Friday. I mean, I won't ruin any spoilers. I'll probably speak about it next week. Spoilers. And um, I mean, your first thing you got to do is like do your thrusters, and you like you lift yourself up. And obviously in VR, like it's such an experience. But when you are flying up and you are not flying up, you you feel a bit ooh, like you wobbly a bit. You know. Pardon? The landing feel. It's a full. You, it feels There's crunchy, still. like you, when you land, like you know you. you you know that you've landed, if that makes sense. Like it makes a crunchy noise. Like, you and actually like, drop. <laughs> yeah, imagine. But the amount of times I've like lost my balance, like just like you know, feeling that confident, really? flying around, and all of a sudden I would just go like wibbly wobbly. You put a fan in, you're flying. You put a fan in front of you so you can get that wind. I've got. I have actually got a fan next to me. I've had. It's, it's such a hot experience, like having all this stuff on your face, like. Does it like get hot too? So hot. Never not, even put on a VR not, thing, it, so. it doesn't get hot, but it, it's got like leather, like uh-huh. soft, you know, for protection. But it's still, you still oh, get it's just hot. like covering your whole face. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, like you've, I've, yeah. You saw a picture, you'd only see this much of my face. Right. And there's a cool little mini, um, you get like upgrades and stuff. You can change the color of your suit. The story is very intri- intriguing. You just, honestly, the, lo- the, the, the bad points, so I'll go over the bad. The loading screens are terrible terrible like the, i have to sit down i'm just like i might you know stood up for a long amount of time like just i'm used to moving about so being stood up you're like fucking hell i'm sick of being stood up so you know the loading screens you're talking like three three minutes at a time terrible loading screens and then why do you think that is does it like look good so like, i think it like looks decent VR games? i think it looks really? decent okay. yeah like i can't complain yeah, about what it looks like like i said it's limited but it's still you're still impressed with it because you're in this VR world. Like you can't really say, "Oh, this isn't good." Like, what have you got to compare it to? Really? Right. And what have I got to compare it to? So, what was that? I lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, you're talking about the loading screens. Yeah, loading screens are bad. You play. You I played five missions already. Two. And then some story parts you can interact with some interesting things you can do dumbbells there's a basketball game sick like slamming dunks mate like phew. there's a bit my missus recorded me and it's just me going <laughs> it's like <laughs> but, in, but in to you you're the coolest guy in the world like you're the coolest guy ever and then um you can the, the enemies are all the same like all the enemies are there's like five different types of variations. I've probably still got to see two more, but they're all still flying hovercrafts things. But, you know, it's if you like Iron Man, the the, the game aims to make you feel like Iron Man, and it and it accomplishes that goal. You you, you can to fire your repulses like choo choo choo. You you lift your you know your your hands up like like that if that makes because obviously you're holding these ones. And then if you you know the he's got missiles in his arms, so if you want to do your missiles, you put your arms down like that. Is so that... how does that work when you're flying? Because you, you got to do like the this thing for the flying. Yeah, right? so there's a hover button. So you you fly. Oh, okay. You can either fly like like that. So you're going up. Uh-huh. Then you fly like that to go. You know to go that way. Uh-huh. And you can go if you do that. You go down. Okay. I do a you know that's like all oh, this is <laughs> moving, so. Um, Throwing up game time. The Unibeam, and then you press a button. Pardon? You use the Unibeam. Yes, there's that. You get to a point in the oh, game sweet. where you can get the Unibeam. Is that the chest one? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, the t- okay. it's like your special ability. Yeah, you press a button, you start hovering, and you can. Just... Honestly, for the, it's getting a bit of stick. It gets a, it's getting sevens out of tens. I completely agree. But if if you're a fan of Iron Man, you'll enjoy this game. If you want to be Iron Man, get this game. And this is the closest you're ever going to get. Unless Tony Stark busts into your living room, like, do you fancy her going this soon? You're like, yeah, it's that. But that's not going to happen. What about uh, so Dynamics, the Avengers? Marvel's the Avengers. Yeah, but you're not going to be in that game. Yeah, I know, but you're not going to be flying around as Iron Man. You're not going to be in your living room, in your pants, flying around, are you? You have the HUD in your screen okay. and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'll definitely get back to it. I want to finish the story. I want to tell you what the story is about. But it's very, it's good. I would, I'm not going to say it's bad. It's it's a very good game. The longest I've ever been in VR, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm not throwing up yet. Thumbs up all around. Exactly. We'll get there, 
They'll, they'll, they'll make you throw up by the end. That last boss fight, whatever it is, make you super dizzy. Probably. Uh, you playing anything else? No, I'm I, I'm in limbo. I'm waiting for That's it. Ghosts. Uh, kind of funny one about this ghost. trivia game, so I'm just on that, just testing my knowledge. Oh yeah, we're all playing that, right? Yeah. Everybody's all the kind of funny communities playing it. All kind of funny. I gotta get in that chat. If you uh, get like Daniel. five minutes. Daniel, what have you been playing? I so last week I talked about Mario Party, so we continued playing that as me and my two best friends. And uh, we beat all of the Mario Party. So basically, are five different things you could do in the game, and each to complete the, the entire objective of that thing, you get a gem, and there's five gems. I didn't we realize did you could beat Mario Party. Yeah, I didn't either. There is it. There is you can completely beat the game. There like are credits, credits in the whole thing. And there's credits and everything. It's all the characters dancing and all this Ooh. stuff. It's uh, you can beat the game. Basically, you have the main Mario Party, which is, you know, you have a board and your characters, and I think there's four different maps. Beat all four maps, or complete all four, then you get the gem. And there's the co-op, like a two-on-two, -two, also kind of on a board. Um, I think there was four maps as well. The gem for that. There's this what a rafting one, where it's like all four people working together, you go down and you just a straightforward path, but you have to avoid rocks and play mini games. Get a gem for that. You have to like go to every single path on that path section. Uh, what were the other gems? Um, the last two. One was like a dancing mini game. It was like about rhythm. You had to like time your Joy-Con hits to like a rhythm, and everyone's like kind of competing. Oh, you have to play with like the separate Joy Cons, or is that just for like certain? Yeah, there are, so you cannot play with a controller. You have to play with Joy Cons. So, That's you know, nice. every Switch only has two Joy Cons. So, if you want to play with three to four or four people, you have to have another pair of Joy Cons. I had to go get one of my Joy Cons to play on his console. Um, yeah, it's not too big a deal. Either. At least you so, have the like. You just get one controller, and you have two. You know. I just well, just imagine a family though. You know, like. Yeah. To go buy another pair of icons to play yeah, we with might, kids. We, that kind of we might, might have done that. <laughs> That's not... It's it's all right. Joy-Cons are cool. I think we got six. Um, so, we got six Joy-Cons. Yeah, six. It's not bad. I, I only have the basic gray ones. Um, So we, we beat the movie, or the, the, the music one, and then the last one is basically you have to... All 80 game mini games, uh, the whole entire game you have to beat, it's just like one after another. Um, you can stop; it's not like endless. Uh, and it's only single player though. That was the weird really? part. Every other thing is co-op. This like one section we had to like pass the Joy-Con around. Is that That's not weird. the one in the raft then? No, the one in the raft is four people, and you're you're all rowing it and stuff. It's pretty oh, fun. Oh God. I feel good. like I get pissed off at people playing. They all very. It is a very good um, party game. I think it's we'll, it's fun. we'll end up. But we put we uh, we we'll you know when the coronavirus is over, we normally have a sister around and a boyfriend and we all just have a good time. I'd say play it if you, you play. Try the different modes too. I, I probably just like the basic mode the most. The co-op mode I found a little annoying. It just seemed a little unfair if you get characters that just roll really high. It's like you add the dice together. It's just, it's really weird. Um, yeah, so I completed Mario Party. But the game I played on my own, yeah, uh, Bayonetta 2, finally. Oh, I've yeah. talked about nice. it on the show, not played it. I finally just sucked it up and bought it. And I was missing out, man. <laughs> Bayonetta 2 is so good. One of like my three Wii U games that I bought. <laughs> I can see it, man. You it's worth Wii U. it. It's worth Wii U. getting that Wii U. I did have a Wii U, yeah. Uh, it's really fun. It, it plays pretty much just like the first one. Yeah. Uh, the definitely. big difference is you get different modes, like like the Panther mode you can go into now and Snake mode. Okay. You didn't really have that in the first one. Uh, the story was in, was okay. I didn't really like Loki's character. The other character was pretty good. That Italian weird guy. 
Which one, Loki? He's like, forget about it. He's like, whoa. Oh, that's Luca. That's Luca. Loki's the little kid. He's so weird. Like I, I put on. I play. I think I played it for like an hour or two. I will go back to it. It's something I want to play. Um, but the first like opening cinematic. Even my missus like what? And I was like, I, I yeah, it's a, it's, it's a art like game. That. Oh, no, you're purple thing there. Oh. I'm sorry, you're talking about Enzo. You're talking about the fat Italian guy. Yeah, he's just carrying all them parcels. Yeah. It's just Enzo. He's barely in the game very much. He's just... He's in, like, three scenes. It's, <laughs> the game's goofy and fun. Yeah, it's, the first one was goofy and fun, so I expected the same. It's something I need to go back to. There's definitely more characters in this one, which is pretty good. A John more of a character. Like, she was in the first one. She was kind of a villain in the first one. Like kind of at the end that she wasn't. Uh, so you get more her. Yeah, the second one just had more epic fights from what I remember. It's a while ago when I played it now, so I can't really it, A little more variety, which I don't always like. Like there were sections where you're like you're flying on the plane, top of it shooting and doing stuff. Yeah, there's like a section where you're like time. Yeah. <laughs> there's a section where you're on this like skeleton unicorn, but instead of a horn, it was a sword. It, it was just Bad. sick. Looking. You're just like Rock riding. Oh man. Yeah, it's games in the hood. <laughs> it really is. Um, I really liked it. Uh, if you if anybody has played the first one and hasn't played the second one like me, you should definitely go play it. It's, it's worth it. A little pricey for what I think it is at this point. Like the Why first do you one, get it on Switch? Uh, it's only on Switch. It's a Switch yeah, exclusive. They don't mark down those Switch games, you know? Oh, uh, like the first one's like 20 bucks on Switch, which is fine. Like this one's like. 50 or 40, I think. Yeah. I think a little too much. Game is like five years old now. You excited for three? I'm very excited, especially where it ends. I don't want to spo- kind of spoil the ending of it. But, uh, they leave it off and very weird note and just a big cliffhanger. So I, I'm not really sure how what they're going to do. How long does the game last for? Again? How long does the game last? How long is the game? Uh, I think I beat it in like eight hours, maybe. I'm not yeah, if you put it on like a higher difficulty, you're probably up to, I don't know, 12. It's pretty much like a, you know, Devil May Cry length right around. Yeah, it's a, it's a little shorter than a normal Devil May Cry. It's like 16 chapters. I think Devil May Cry is right. usually like 20. Where's That's my Devil May Cry versus Bayonetta game? You know, dude. I want. I just want Dante and Devil in uh, Bayonetta to like interact. Right. I think that'd be too. sick. That give me that in Smash. That's where I it forget needs to how be. they're connected. Wasn't the creator? He like worked on the Double May Cry games, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. And he yeah. split off and had his own team. Yeah, that's what I thought. First one uh, I think was with Sega. And yeah, the first Bayonetta was. Oh, I guess it's Nintendo. Yeah, I think they just bought up the IP, right? Yeah, they did. It's weird. I'm pretty sure the first Bayonetta was a 360 exclusive when it launched, or like a year exclusive. Did it eventually come to PC or P- a PS3? Yeah, it did, and it eventually came to. Uh, I think it was even on Wii, like the first Wii. Maybe oh, that was really? You I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. But you can like get the first Bayonetta anywhere. You just can't. You can only get the second one on Wii. That's so weird. weird. It's so weird. But it is really saying, weird. I'm so happy it has because I've, I finally got to play it because I loved the first one. I just I'm I don't, I never forget I never forget the story I I'm, I went to my I, I just popped around to my friend's house and it was him and another mate and we, they were like doing this one bit on hard mode like a challenge room or something and they were just taking it to us can't do it can't do it I was like look do you want me to have a quick go I never played the game before either I never played this game I just I was like there you go done I was like what how how I was like I honestly I don't know. But let's just not question it. <laughs> Don't even think you about felt it. it. You felt it, man. And then That's I went, and then I played it. Um, and then I games. played it myself, and I really enjoyed it. I was I was gutted when they couldn't get the second one. And hell, I was about the Wii U, sitting there playing like this. I bought the Wii U. <laughs> it was great, man. That Smash will forever go like just forgotten. And that was a good Smash game. Oh, this one's Wind Waker it's again. Honestly, my favorite Smash. To be honest, is it the Wii U one? Uh, it is the Wii U one. I think that actually, I know people really like Melee and how it plays, like how fast it is, but that's more of like a pro scene thing. I just love how the Wii U one plays. You don't have the tripping from 
all uh, it limited how much you could dodge in this new one. You can't just keep dodging the ultimate. So I, I, don't, I really don't like that because I like to dodge a lot. Like those dodging but All right. We will then move on to some news. We got some juicy topics, you know. Very juicy. We we do have some juicy topics, yeah. Juicy, you know. (laughs) We'll start with some Xbox news. Uh, First up, the Xbox event has been announced. The date is July 23rd at 9 a.m. PT. Uh, This is their big first party showing. So they've been calling it. Might be third party. Third party, yeah, like some big third party's gonna be there, I think. Yeah, I I would imagine there is, but who knows? It'd be cool if they just come out with like a two hour long show with all their new cool looking first party games. They, um, but what do you? They have to crush. What do you they, guys want to see from this? You know, like uh, anything like big you want to see? Or, you know, I, obviously, we got Halo. Thing, I think yes. The only thing I think that needs to succeed just to be great is Halo. I think if Halo succeeds, I think this whole thing will be worth it. Right, let me tell you what Halo needs. Halo needs a kid, all right? You've got Master Chief, a little Master Chief, and you just need them to go on a journey, all right? God of did it, oh, last time did it, and that's what you need. You need a little chief, Papa Chief, little chief, and then they just go on this epic journey together, yeah. and they bond, and they grow, and then that's, there's your game. That's all that Xbox need to do. They just, they're not, they're not, so, they're not making games with kids, right? And PlayStation are... Look at PlayStation. All right. Why is no one mentioning this? Why would he need a kid? But to make the game good. Look at Last of Us. <laughs> look at God Look of at War. God of War. All right. <laughs> Halo are That's struggling. It. They're on the That's ropes. The They're getting work. TKO'd. All it needs, Little Chief, Papa Chief. All right. They don't even need too many dialogue. Do you mean? They could just like be shooting things and then, you know, have the high five. And that's it. Is the little kid a, a, a snarky little kid, you know? He, may, he makes a little joke. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah. and Master Chief goes like, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or like, like get over here. not boy, like little spaceman. Uh, Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little spaceman. <laughs> <laughs> take it to I'd the like bank. That. I'm I'd telling like, you now. Take I'd it like to the bank. Are all, are all his weapons so smaller? Yeah, also, obviously. You know, I have little space a little spaceman with a big thing. Oh, yeah. Just, wobbling on a giant <laughs> sniper. Yeah, a giant Flies sniper. Back when like, he shoots it. A rocket launcher he's holding. Yeah, I, I disagree, though, that all they need is for Halo to be good. I don't <laughs> no, know. I, I, I don't think that's all they need. I think that that will make this event be worth it. I don't think so. I think the main complaint with Xbox is all they have is Halo and Gears, right? That's been the complaint for years. So I think they need they need new IP for sure. Uh, I mean, I'm expecting Fable to come back. We got those perfect dark rumors. I want some new IP. I want some new stuff. I want I want it all to look cool. I don't want this to just be a Halo show. That's for damn sure. Like this is just half an hour of Halo, and then they just like skim over some other shit. I, I'd be disappointed. Do you think Obsidian's gonna show something? You think they're ready? I think they, I mean, they, they have, have to be ready. ready. They have to show. Yeah, I mean, all these work. studios have to show something. They have to. Like, I mean, Outer Worlds. They got that one game coming out, that grounded game. So you figured there are other. Yeah, teams that's a small that. team. They. That's the nice. That's the nice thing about Obsidian is they love to do multiple things at a time. So, yeah. the main Obsidian team has not been doing anything since the Outer Worlds, right? They didn't port it to Switch. That was there's a also Outer team. Worlds DLC coming out though. Uh, I haven't heard anything about that, but yeah, that kind of also might be a smaller team. A while ago. Yeah, it could be. I don't. I. I don't think they're ready. I think it's just too soon. They have to show something. Yes. They have to. All these. Do they? All these studios need to show something. They have to blow think, blow us out of the water. They have to. Well, we can go over it. We'll definitely we'll get, see Hellblade. Yeah, we'll definitely see Hellblade too. So you got Ninja Theory. Then you got Playground. Uh, probably get a new Forza game out of them. And then the rumor is they're making the Fable game. You got the Initiative, which is their big uh, quadruple A studio, which is rumored to be making the Perfect Dark game. But I, I, I think, can hope um, it's, but it's just another first person shooter. Turn, isn't it? turn ten, turn ten is making to motorsport this year. Yeah, I would assume. Oh, so is, it, is it their turn this year? Right, I, I think don't it is. Yeah, so I think okay. that. So we're definitely getting like, what Forza I mean, motorsport. What, what are they on? Six, seven, seven, uh, eight. I think eight. Yeah, whatever. It's a lot. Um, so I think that ground is going to do that. They're the rumored Fable developer right now. 
Who else have they bought up recently? Um, there's the double we have a few team. Double we have a few guys. Yeah, I forget their name. Some of an eye. Uh, yeah, Double Fine, they're coming out with Psychonauts 2 soon. Uh, maybe they got something else coming up. I could see that. And, yeah. yeah they always have it. multiple projects. It just has to be... They they have to, like... Do they, do they start with Halo? Do they finish with Halo? Do they... Do they... They have to show start everything. With it. I keep saying it, like, they have to show everything they've got. They have to come out all guns blazing. It has to be as good as the PlayStation. They can't be all first-person shooters. There has to be some good st story-driven nar narrative games. It has to. They have to have all different types of genres. They they can't just rely on what they've already got. Like soft with being what Sony does, they never have. But they have to. I don't think they do. They, this is their on shot. The this is the year they have to it blow really their is. load. I 100% agree that this is their. They, they have to do something good, but I don't agree that they need to do what Sony does. If, I just don't think that that's no. It's not fair enough. Yeah, like do it. I don't do think it their they way. need to make a bunch of third-person cinematic exactly. story games. No, that's exactly. What I mean. no. Yes, that's exactly but what they I mean. need new games. Like, yeah. certainly, like but, a lot too. But I think with, the initiative, like seeing their project, if it is Perfect Dark or whatever it, it, it may be, it may be. I think theirs is going to be the big surprise. I hope it isn't perfect, doll. I don't want another first-person shooter. Me too. Ah, they'll make you. I want to be proven to like this. You know, I'm not a perfect dark fan, but show me why I should want to play this game. They, what? Uh, but going back to Halo, like it does have to be good. This has to be different to all the other Halos. This can't be just a normal Halo. It has to be maybe open world. You know, something completely yeah, I don't different. I think we completely are looking at it differently. I think it just it needs to be Halo One again. I just don't, reboot it personally. Practice. You're just speaking to the wrong guy. But every time I pick up Halo, it just feels like Halo. It doesn't. It just feels like the same thing over and oh, over and over. The, well, the problem is it hasn't though. It hasn't felt like Halo the past few games. So I think the it problem like is Halo since Reach. That well, even Reach had the armor abilities. I think the problem is Sims that it that the games haven't felt like Halo. No, I think that's the big problem, especially to big Halo fans. Like, I, it needs to go. It needs to be grounded again. No running, no sprinting. Um, the actual open worldness. Maybe have worlds or something, but I don't know. I want. I think be there's a big chance to do the gears thing that, uh, like the separate sections. Sections, yeah. Yeah. I don't I know. I just. I think that. that first trailer where you see him in that big desert. I think that's a massive hint towards this open world something and yeah, maybe they do need to change it up a you, little i mean I, we talked about it before but i just i've been vibing with halo since 343 took over which is i mean forever ago at this point teaser uh the of the banished from halo wars 2 so that's pretty exciting i know people like the story of halo wars 2 and the banished so. what are the banished just brutes i didn't play halo uh, wars 2. i think like the leaders are brute but it's like a bunch of exiled people from covenant or like their That's own cool. group. Where's the flood, yeah. man? Bring the flood yeah. back. What was the point of the first trilogy? It's like, no, we don't need the flood back. Unless it's just a complete reboot of the series, then we can bring I the, flood, the back. flood I want the flood. I remember forever ago, there was that rumor that the guys that made that alien, uh, whatever game, the the scary alien game, oh, were so making so. a... Yeah, uh, they are making a Halo game, but with the flood. I was like, oh, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty scary. There's also a tease in one of the recent games that the Flood were like stuck on some ship, like floating in space, some shit. I can't remember. Maybe that was like in a comic or whatever. But then cool. we got more Microsoft news, or a rumor more like, is Microsoft might buy the WB Interactive, which is the whole uh, WB game section. So this includes the Rocksteady team, WB Montreal, uh, Monolith. There's like five... Uh, there's a whole in the cities. I think there's WB Boston. Um, T -T. Yeah, there's Monolith. TT Games. Yeah, TT Games. Oh, yeah, them too. So this kind of ties into what we were just talking about, is like, especially with you, Sims, was saying they need to like compete with Sony. This would fucking do it, you know? This, I, you'd be right there. Then if this, uh, we talked about overnight it. just like be on Sony's level with like high high level uh, first party studios. Yeah, 
it depends on how fast like I, there are rumors that other people might buy wb interactive as well but yeah i believe there's ea Activision, all the big guys time it's still a couple weeks out so they could get this deal done and have this be a big like bomb like yeah we we have 10 grand studios. i think that puts them to like 23 or 24 studios if they buy this Does like it... that's that's nuts is it is it is something like that quick to do i don't i don't think I think, yeah, that's what I, I was think thinking. It I will happen. I think this is this will happen, but it won't be announced yet. That's pretty early, but if they could get it out there, you know, who knows? If it, I think these type of things just take a while. Like these always take a while with like big purchases like this. Sure. But um, I mean, it'd be crazy. They'd have Rocksteady, you know, like like that's a big studio to have. Uh, the question would be too: Is are they getting? Are they able to license their IP still? Yeah, would, would that uh, be exclusive? I think oh, AT and T is the one selling them, and I believe they said they'd be open to working on a deal to where they could keep the IPs. So then, imagine yeah, that. Microsoft did that. That Batman, uh, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Suicide all Squad game. Yeah, all that exclusive to Xbox. That's crazy. I would also wonder if the games these studios are making now would still end up going onto uh, PlayStation because I think they would because most of the studios that Microsoft has bought and that are like working on games that are also coming on PlayStation are the Outer Worlds, right? Yeah, Outer Worlds. Yeah, Outer Worlds, Psychonauts Two. Uh, they, they've got stuff a weird like that. thing going on with Minecraft, aren't they? Where they own it, but oh, PlayStation yeah, Minecraft's have always it. On there. Yeah, yeah. And Minecraft needs to be everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah it's just so much money. Too much money. Yeah, it'd be such a huge purchase for Microsoft. And, you know, it'd really yeah, definitely them in their first-party studio offering. Uh, more Microsoft news. Microsoft tells devs to not charge for DLC for a next-gen upgrade. So basically, they don't want the... You got to pay an extra fee. That 2K thing. Version of, yeah, like the 2K thing. Oh, so they're saying they don't want games to be seventy dollars? What's what's going on? No, 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 no. They the two K thing was like that hundred dollar version of the of the game where you get that upgrade. Upgrade copy, yeah. Oh, okay. Like you could pay a hundred bucks and you get like an upgrade for PS Five, right, or Xbox wow. uh, Series X. <laughs> Tell you one thing, ain't no one gonna fucking listen to this, <laughs> especially uh, in two K. Depends. I mean, they could maybe they could force it and say if you charge this much, like, well, we just won't publish your game or something. I know they probably won't do that, but well, I don't know. Ten years, ten years ago, Microsoft would have been, yeah, we'll we'll charge whatever we want. I think now they're Mister Nice Guy on it because they're like, oh, please, just come and buy our services. If that right. makes sense, I just, I don't know. I, they're just Mister Nice Guy. I think they just want to say the right things. I. I like I said last week, they, if they if they need to if they we need to pay a bit more, then we need to pay a bit more. All right. Yeah, I think we all agreed that with that. It's one of those things where like it'd be like Microsoft, what are you gonna do if we don't? You know, if we don't listen to you, it's like you're you not gonna have two K on Xbox. You know, like, I don't uh, think so. I mean, they, they need could, each they other be... though, don't they? It's not Microsoft doesn't need two K. Two K need Microsoft. I uh, yeah, hundred percent. 100%. You don't, their platform. you don't want 2K just to be a PlayStation exclusive. But it's their we, platform. Yeah, but then how does 2K make money? Do you know how much money they not, see? It's they lose a ton of money. They'll lose so much money on the Xbox side of things. Would they? Yeah. 100%. That's right. I mean, right now, there's like, what, 40 million Xbox Ones out there? We don't know about next gen, right? But then they there's like over Probably 100 million... Is it closer to sixty now? I feel so. like they would have announced if they hit like fifty million. And they uh, haven't announced any of it in a while. I think the last, the last I think we heard was like so fifty something. For like probably these, closer to sixty. For two K to hit their goals, they're going to need all all the platforms in the world. And yeah, that's it, what they want. Uh, I don't think so. I think you'd get so many people that would only go buy a PlayStation then if two K, two K, like the the fucking basketball game is game, only yeah. on PlayStation. You'd be fucked. But then 2K look like the bad guy. Don't there's know. so many people that only buy that a year, you know, buy that in the new console. Take a step way. back, Connor. I'm gonna take a step back. To this, only on Xbox is the upgrade. If 2K still does it on PlayStation, but Microsoft is the one pushing it. That oh, maybe we'll just eat the cost, right? That 10 bucks or whatever that you do just get 2K. That'd be great. For... Yeah. Well, then so you're getting that, all those people on take, Xbox. Take Exactly. Yeah. Then you get in the flip side. Then everyone's coming to Xbox because they're like, "I'm not yeah, paying an extra money." Thing. Yeah. That's yeah, kind of how I'm looking. 
Yeah, that'd be really interesting if that's how it ended up working out. That's what it seems like they're saying. It was a big deal this week, really. I, I feel like Sony then would just be stupid not to also be like, oh, yeah, you can't do that here either. I think that's what they're trying to push Sony to do things, like with port delivery, I right? I think they're, they're, they're trying to force Sony's hand. That's a smart idea, honestly. I think so, too. Speaking of Sony, we will go into some PlayStation news. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition will release on PC August 7th. Sims, are you fucking hyped? You look tight. <laughs> look at his face. I know he loves Horizon. Look at that, no. look at that shiny head, people. His hype shiny head. So, like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that the PC world gets to play this game. Like, it's a good game. I get it. I, it. It just wasn't for me, unfortunately. It's just I've got nothing against it. I will play the next one, and I'm, you know. Everyone's entitled to say, "Oh, it's a great game." It, it was, it was all right, all right. But I do, I don't like the hate that PlayStation getting for them giving. Oh, it's not. Oh, another exclusive gone to PC. Just, it's like fuck it's, off. It's not. It's not like gamers like us. It's just dumb fanboys that are like, "Oh, that's an exclusive game that only I should be able to play." Watch some guy it's smash his PC up. I did because of it. His P- PlayStation. Yeah, at this up. point, like it's been over three years. Just yeah. enjoy it, man. I, I, I'm happy for him. Don't get me wrong. Imagine this on like the, a top end PC. Oh, I know. Oh, look beautiful. Unstretched as what, like a big ultra wide screen. Come on. HDR, man, that'd look be ridiculous. It... All those sound effects too, man. I love the sounds of dinosaurs. But yeah, this is really cool. I've been telling. I got a lot of friends that just like only play on PC. So I, I've just been telling them like, hey, buy this fucking game. This game, yeah. Yeah, you you need to get this game. You must not you must not like your friends then. Why would you tell them <laughs> Horizon is you know like a thinking man's game. You know you got to really think during the gameplay and pay attention to the story and stuff. So I can get that you don't like it. You know, but, but even <laughs> but even like me and the missus sat down. We spoke about it the other day. She's like I I don't I didn't enjoy it like. And she's a big dinosaur person, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, there was something about it that just didn't click with us. One of the few European studios and you can't even support your own people, you know? It's Amsterdam, in it? So right. We're not even in the Europe anymore, are we? So. It's true. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> no, sorry, Amsterdam. <laughs> but yeah, buy Horizon Zero Dawn on PC if you are on PC. August 7th. Yeah, August 7th. Have a great time. Good old time with that. Uh, next up, we've got a quick look at the uh, PS5 game case boxes thing uh i think it looks bad honestly it, it, it came it's, in the it's very Morales plain one. is I, it i wanted plain. like uh i don't like how the bar is white you know that says ps5 and then it's got like the blue outer casing it's like why not just make that all blue or make the whole thing like black i don't know i like like solid colors you know going with this know, white mainly white and then have offset black like that's kind of the look this whole is that what they're shooting for is like the controller yeah. look in the yeah controller. like yeah it's the I like it. You it looks weird are. on a case to me. Uh, no, no, no. See, I don't hate it as much as Connor does, but I just think it's very plain. Very, it, it didn't, it didn't pop. I like it. I don't care. I'm not buying one of these anyways. I'm getting a digital. Yeah, me edition. too. I'm only buying the digital. PS5. Are yeah, you getting a digital PS5? Are you? Yeah? yeah, I'm getting the digital one. Oh, I like a good physical game. Am I getting my Ghost of Tsushima physical? Are you okay? I yeah, feel I like my going years. My PlayStation isn't as loud playing physical copies. You know that, right? I mean, mine isn't as loud as I think other people says says theirs is. Yeah, I've never had this problem, so I, I really don't know. I don't know if it's just because I, I, I have you know, a base PS4 cool. as well. A launch PS4. I really? Yeah. I played, yeah. I played yeah. Titanfall mine 2 well. digitally, and my PlayStation took off, went to McDonald's, and came back. <laughs> it was that loud. Right, I, you do a happy meal. I was worried about my my at that point, but I played Final Fantasy. That was fine. I played we not Last of Us. Last of Us on my missus. Don't get me wrong. It was just like like a loud humming noise, but it was like all right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if digital. Just ends up making it worse then how did it sound with the last of us because that was like obviously the best looking game that's come out recently sims sorry you all just lagged out like your lips weren't oh. moving you were sorry repeat that question oh did it how did it how did your uh, ps4 sound with the last of us because that was obviously just the newest game that's come out that looks incredible all right, it sounded like my, my Mrs. PlayStation was 
Can you not hear me? Hello? I can hear you. No, I can't talking you. for a second. <laughs> it's all like, I don't know. I'm, I, my brain must be lagging. So, the PlayStation, <laughs> my Mrs. PlayStation sounded alright because we played on Mrs. PlayStation. I don't know, my, my Sim, Spider Man. Sim's brain just starts taking off. Spider Man, I don't know, my Spider Man PlayStation, <laughs> but Titan 4 2, though, is worrying. I've had times where it, it like will ramp up in its noise and then it'll just go back down. Yeah, it's not a launch. Yeah, but... I have a launch. Like, <laughs> it's fine i don't you guys know like i play everywhere so it's like i don't really it daily on my playstation so that's probably why it's not daily yeah, use for six years or whatever i've lost the dog you ever clean it out there since like lip off that case i've thing, done it before yeah i did it not long ago because when oh, i was playing okay. division it was really loud um i don't know i think every time if it's digitally the console just don't like it physically fine Weird. Yeah, back to the case thing though. I think it's it's fine. You know, I don't I don't really care one way or another, honestly. Oh, I, was, stuck with the... I was well excited. <laughs> like Christmas. I, I, I kinda wish they'd just wear switch. Like all black would have looked cool. I saw like, I think a black case that, would have been so. better. But... I, I honestly would have liked all blue. Blue. Isn't that what PS4 is though? Yeah. I get you gotta change yeah. it to PS4. Maybe have it more modernized, but just go blue. Stick with sure. the blue. Uh sticking with Sony. Sony invests 250 million dollars into epic uh this Crazy. was sony themselves not playstation yes. so it's kind of just in line with uh more like music things and stuff like that i know this just had a big thing to do with the uh travis scott thing right when there's a travis scott concert i know he's signed to like sony music or whatever oh so I think, that's a good point yeah yeah it, it had a lot to do with that so i think sony's just trying to be able to like well, they're doing other stuff through Fortnite, you know? They're doing the cinemas things as well, aren't they? They're showing loads of films on it as well. Yeah, there's like movies being Nolan played. Nolan through Sony? Sony? Pardon? Say that again? Is, is Nolan through Sony? Mm -hmm. I think he is, right? I know in Inception was being played through Fortnite, right? Yeah, that's yes. why I was wondering. It's, it was <laughs> a weird movie. It was originally, it. yeah, because it's dead weird, right? It's originally, it was originally the... Which the kid's going to go Ten watch Inception. Is it Tenant? Is it Tenant? No, no, no. Tenant. Yeah, Tenant. So that was that was supposed to come out, wasn't it? I think that was supposed to be on now. But I think that got yeah. delayed. And then I think they just replaced it with a load of other Nolan movies. like. Yeah, I think they're just doing like Inception. So my, my kid keeps coming downstairs to me. She's like, oh, Dad, um, can I stay up for the event? I was like, what event? Oh, they're just showing this film. And it's like... I was like... You're not gonna understand this film, kid. Like, he's yeah. like, I don't get why the show. She wouldn't these... understand Inception. She doesn't understand cleaning a room, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely in, in the line of all them, all this new stuff into it. So, I think all these like movies and I think Fortnite's gonna be like the what PlayStation Home would have been, just this interactive. Whoa. Yeah, it seems like it's turning into more it's like a gathering place yeah, for yeah. friends. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really get it. I gotta I gotta get up in Fortnite times. I gotta learn. Uh, you don't. Think like yeah. that trivia game, there's so many Fortnite questions and I'm like, I got no fucking idea. That's the ones where I always lose. I've never gotten one. They already know. <laughs> and that in uh Minecraft in that trivia game. Oh yeah, the, you, like, that one's always stone on. there is. In cool. Minecraft, and I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> like the two biggest games, <laughs> two worst games. Just All right, moving on <laughs> to some Nintendo news. You guys are gonna help me. Have to help me with this. Okay, first so this movie. is so this the, the event that just happened. They just um, announced it. Oh. This is the way forward uh, produ uh, developed game. It's called Bakugan Champions of Vestra. Vestra. <laughs> Vestria? Vestria? Vestria. Yeah, Bakugan Champions of Vestria. Vestria. So, I don't know. It looked like a what is huge monsters, Pokemon type of game. It's... Oh, it's a new game. Okay. It's a, it is an IP. Like, Bakugan is an IP. Yeah, you... It's about like it. these little like circle things like made out of dice or whatever. And you throw them on the table. This is what you have, and then they pop out into monsters. Oh... Oh, it's a fake Pokemon. Yes. Okay. Um, but that that just wait, got announced. Wait, wait. So when we were playing the Ubisoft game, me and uh, what, me and uh, Daniel were watching it, and I was like, "Please be good, please be good." And then it was like it was Bakugan, and I was like, "Oh no, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> May, hopefully this oh, is for look cool. What, yeah, look, what is this thing that was just announced at? Uh, Nintendo Treehouse. They just did like a like a state of play for Mario just to like p- pimp it out a bit more oh, before okay. next Friday. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, next up. Evo 2020 online is cancelled. This That's is crazy. a uh, like competitive thing, right? Evo? It's like a fighting, fighting game. It's the fighting game. Fighting. The oh, it's a fighting conference game. Okay. Style. Oh, this is where like all the Smash fights happen yeah, and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They were doing, they switched to online. Uh, so why did that take care Everything's going on. It's a long story. Um, yeah, there's a lot. So I, the head of Evo, uh, some like sexual allegations again. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I think resigned. So if like I remember correctly, Jeffrey Epstein yeah. stuff going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, like resigned, yeah. and then they just they, cancelled the event. They were saying like all these kids from like Smash Bros. It's it's not the conversation we should be having, but it's it's really it's dodgy stuff. It just got cancelled, and um, it's sad because Evo is an awesome event. Yeah, it, it it was supposed to happen like last weekend or this weekend. E- Yeah, stop touching kids, uh, old politicians. Okay, <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> uh, Shadow Warrior 3 got announced. This is the yeah. third Shadow Warrior game. What is it? Is. About it. <laughs> Have you guys ever uh, played Daniel, it? are you excited for this? No, I've never played this. These are older yeah. games, right? The first one was. The second one yeah, came out okay. a couple years ago. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, it's not really a game for me, but it's like it's got it's like a humorous type of like it's got samurai stuff mixed with like futurist futuristic like guns and sort of doom type of game. You just run around and kill people. Kind of like a uh, vanquish a little bit. It's first person. Oh, it's first person. Interesting. That it's first cool. person. Check check out the trailer. The trailer's really funny. So I'd be excited to see what the gameplay is because this was only like a teaser. Sure. It was just really humorous, so I'd be excited to see like what this n- newish version that they could do. Was this announced for next gen or anything? I just didn't say. He didn't Presumably say much. Next gen. Presumably, yeah, but they didn't say yeah. much. Said there's oh, going to be a gameplay trailer soon. Oh, that'd be cool. Maybe Microsoft pulls that out. Maybe. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, Connor, I think you're muted. I'm muted. No, I can, I can hear him clear as day. I am not. Oh, me. Is it me? Yeah. I can hear you I though. Hear you. We can all hear each other. Let's just keep going. Let's keep leave and come back. Next up. Oh. 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 Technical difficulties. Technical oh. difficulties. I will take okay, I, can, I can hear you. I can Trouble. hear you. Oh. Kitty. Yeah, I'm glad Daniel's here because I have no idea what that game is. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, thank you, Dan. No <laughs> That's what that. you guys have me here for. The weird games. And card games. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me that get look. on another uh, card game rant. I don't have one of those in a while. There, uh, there hasn't up. been a new game. Yeah, we need. Where's Hearthstone too? Come on, guys. Work on. Oh. It. Come on. Next up, Assassin's Creed Valhalla footage has leaked. Did anybody it watch looks this? Looks exactly like Odyssey and Origins. Yeah, I didn't I watch a it. A bit of it. I saw a little bit of it. Yeah, it just looked like odyssey and origins it didn't like blow me away how it it's, looked. it's very rough that, like, i think it's very rough footage i, I think we can't yeah, explain like, it, it could can't... even be like a current gen version maybe the next gen version it, i think better. it's just proper like pre very early gameplay i think very early i don't think this is what we will see on sunday it didn't look that early i'm i'm really i'll i'll make my uh judgment on sunday oh so... Basically, what you're saying is I'm gonna be disappointed because it's go. It's definitely going to more Odyssey than oh, original. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, they'll never go back because the, uh, if it got me back, Origins got me back. It's, okay. So hopefully, my prediction of that Prince of Persia will bring me back with the stealth and stuff. But hopefully, my prediction is right. I mean, right. you can stealth, can't you? In it, I don't know. I don't. I'm it's not what I want. It. I'm just looking forward to Sunday. I really, I, I like Ubisoft. I'm a big. I'm a I big love fan. Viking stuff. I love a Ubisoft game. They're all the same, but different skins. And you pay sixty pound for each one of them. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I think the setting looks cool. Definitely the whole Viking set. I don't know. It's just like it, it's interesting. Me, Daniel seemed stuff? to get turned off by these. Uh... No, I didn't see any ship stuff. There's like fifty minutes. I didn't watch. Oh wow! Yeah, it's fifty yeah. minutes. Yeah, it's I skipped through it. I skipped through it. 
Yeah. Yeah, I skipped through. There was like a cutscene that started, so I skipped that. I don't that. I don't even know if I play this game this year with all the other shit coming out. I think out, this but... would be a next year game, yeah. I don't think yeah, I'll play this Were you saying it seems like a nice like what? January game, you know? Were you saying, Connor, me and you what? Oh, it's interesting that me and you seem like more turned off by the uh, going the Origins Odyssey direction, you know? Where oh, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It seems like a lot of people really like that. It's just, I don't know. Just you're right though. It's just not Assassin's Creed, like to me. No, I don't think it is. Assassin's Creed were just they're just different. Uh, next up, keeping with Ubisoft, a Watch Dogs Legion screenshots have leaked. Uh, Sims. Ubisoft, Sims. man. I didn't. I looked at them, but I can't remember them. I kind of just. I, saw one I don't want like... it to be ruined. I kind of just want to see it now. I know. One character, his name was like Football Hooligan or something. I just, I got a good laugh football out of that. Hooligan. Oh man, that's yeah, my mate. Like... I've got a mate. Got Football Hooligan one, Football Hooligan two, Football Hooligan three. Exactly. You've got a whole busy, bunch man. of we'll go to the pool. fans just run and beat yeah. people up. <laughs> Ubisoft cannot catch a break. They've had three leaks this week. That's the Ubisoft they, like, way, man. The... So many. Insane. They always have leaks. Every Assassin's Creed has been leaked. Yeah, every Assassin's Same. Creed. Every uh, week, Fall Cry. I guess it started with, with yeah, John Carlos himself saying that he was going to be in the game, right? And then that just made people go crazy and try to yeah. think about what he's in. Should have never said nothing. It leaked. Do you think like these Ubisoft games dogs. are in this room? Like, But the doors open a little bit. And then there's a guard from like Metal Gear Solid just asleep. And people <laughs> are just like tiptoeing around him. <laughs> I'm in a little peek. And then leaving. Because... No, I Ubisoft think, got sort the of shit. Out. I think the problem is that they have studios worldwide, and are all working on one game, and then I think that just causes a lot of discourse. And somebody, yeah, that's like eventually a leak something. And do you think uh, it's like to, like today's leaks with Far Cry? It was said, uh, you know, it went on the PlayStation Store early. So do, obviously, I reckon that they get uploaded onto the, the, they probably got uploaded onto the PlayStation Store like yesterday, and then obviously they they, they probably type in when they like a like a scheduled tweet, and you you know you want to script and then you schedule it for two o'clock, uh, but maybe something in the database or I don't know whatever just messes it up and just PSN store for that and, game. yeah and just splurges it yeah. out of anybody's just control. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like yeah. it's something you like that has happened. So bad. They put out that teaser, right? They're like, oh, well, let's just make it official. I think that's what the world's get coming to. I think what other game did it? Crash Bandicoot did it, didn't it? At the end of the day, they were just like, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, that got leaked. Put out a teaser. It yeah, well. I think with... Um, I thought for the longest time of Assassin's Creed that they were just doing it on purpose, just for promotional reasons. Like, oh, here's a fucking keychain of, like, an axe or whatever the fuck, and it's got the Assassin's Creed symbol at the bottom. It's like, oh, what does that mean? What is it's Assassin's Creed coming. It happens, like, it? at the same time every year. It's always, like, in that January time. Oh, the crash, like, right? They come out the fall. Puzzle. Yeah. Well, yeah, Crash always, like, tries to hype it up before they're even going to announce it. But yeah. Assassin's Creed in particular is just so weird that that just leaks every year right around the same time. And it's always in, like, just some weird way. Like, it'll be on a t-shirt or some shit. And it's like, I, I almost like they're doing that on purpose just to, like, ramp up promotion. Free promotion, right? <laughs> right. Starts getting everyone talking about it, thinking about what the new Assassin's Creed's going to be, where's the setting, all of that. And then a couple months later, they end up just revealing it, the full thing. Yeah. Okay, next up, uh, Super Hot Mind Control Delete has been announced. Super. This oh, is yeah. DLC for Super Hot? This no, is... I mean, no. It seems. It's a free. I, I don't know. I found it the yesterday. Yesterday was it yesterday? It was one at the Daniel. Yeah, it was yesterday. We'd stop recording, and I was like, they're, they're they're releasing a free full game, but if you bought the game, that you get the free. You get this game for free. But if you if say if you it? got it say if you got it through Xbox Live or Gold or PS Plus or whatever I'm not sure if it's been on PlayStation Plus, uh, then you get the you don't get it. But I was I'm t I'm sat here thinking that did I buy VR did I buy Super Hot? I think I did. I always think I always remembered like when I got a VR I was like I was there was certain games that me and Natalie both wanted I wanted Super Hot and yeah it, it said it's like a standalone game like 16 to 17 hours long but it's not the VR version. But there's a, there's a whole it's big blog weird. post about it today. Like they've got like a a developer's 
journal diary where like talks you how the development process of the game it, it started off as a roguelite and then it was nothing to do with the roguelite and now it it turned out to be this i, I don't know it's good free freeze free That's a fun game right Do, have you guys played super hot no i never played it i didn't realize it wasn't on vr like you could just buy it regularly mm. It's a nor- it was a normal game before the VR. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that it game looks is cool. Super it's one frustrating. Where you, like, freeze time, right? Yeah. In first person. Yeah, yeah okay. It's super yeah, frustrating. It's really cool. When you move, like, the enemies move, yeah. it's really. It's really in VR, awesome. in VR, you're like this, and you got to, like, literally use all your peripheral visions. If you move and that bullet's right here. Oh, man. I was, I was playing it the other day, and I was, like, so frustrated. I was like, Argh! But you, when you do shoot something dead cool, though, when you do, when you, you're like, there's the first piece, like, shoot this guy in the head, and then you go to the next bit, and then you, you shoot all these people around you, you pick these two Uzis up, like, spray all around you. And then there's one where you can, you shoot this guy, and then his gun goes up in the air, so you catch his gun, and then you can pick up, like, ashtrays and stuff, and you just launch them at them. It's it's brilliant. Like, if, if you've got a good flow with the game, it's amazing. There's, there's a trophy sure. for finishing it in one sitting. Oh wow! Oh, cool. I didn't... It must be pretty short then. It is so short. kind of like it's a puzzle awesome. game almost. Kind it of, is in a way. yeah, yeah. Kind of to figure out how to defeat everybody with what you have. Um, does it do it in like actual time at the end? Like <clears> you like unfreeze time then, and then like watch the whole thing. It does actually? Does yeah. It? Oh, the main... yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. That sounds cool. I like that idea. I really want to play John Wick Hex. I keep saying yeah. that. Yeah. It's a different game because it's top down. I want John Wick Hex to be like a third person action game. <laughs> you know? Sick. That'd be cool. John Wick Hex uh, needs to you guys come remember to that game Xbox. Wet? Yes. Yeah, but, uh, by uh, Bethesda. Give me that, but like a John Wick game, you know? Where you like slow down time and you're like mm. jumping like that. What that was cool. that? Is it Stranglehold as well? Stranglehold. Like is it John Woo or something? John Woo. Come on, yeah, Daniel. John Woo. Johnny Tsunami? Are you having me out? Hey, John. No, John. He uh, made a game, Stranglehold. Google it. The director. Food director. Yeah, like. Uh, well, not, wasn't that more of a Mad, uh, Mad Max game? A uh, Mad Max. Uh, not Mad Max. The other one. Uh, Not Mad Max. What's the. Happy Max. Max Payne. I think it's more of like a Max Payne oh, type. Max Payne. Yeah, Stranglehold. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was John. Game. John Woo Great. presents Stranglehold. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was right. I'm fucking good at this. I. But uh, what's his name? Eggfu, Wan or whatever. Developed by Midway. Developed by Midway Games. Released in 2007. Wow. Influencers. Yeah. Influencers. Uh. The more you know. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Max Payne. Yeah. Influence by Max Payne. Uh, I wonder if. They're still making Super Hot 2. I wonder if this is just to hold people over till Super Hot 2. Did that get announced? No. No, okay. You'd think they would be. It's a big enough title. I think so. Yeah. I really want to play VR. I just, I'm just i in the mood to play VR. Really cool. Get in there, man. Get that iron, man. I'm going to do it when I get off this bloody podcast. No, I'm joking. <laughs> bloody podcast. <laughs> bloody Americans taking up all my time. All right. We'll then move on to some new releases and dates. Uh, first up, we got Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2, coming out on July 10th. That's quick, really? right, Daniel? Fucking hell, that was well quick. Very, very quick, man. Very quick. I'm, yeah. I'm playing it this weekend, for sure. Isn't this the cool. one that was in like development for about 15,000 years? Oh. Yeah, something like that. When is the it... dinosaurs were roaming. You're, it... no, 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 no. You're talking about Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. But when they were in mid-development of it, they made the like smaller game called Curse of the Moon. Oh, Actually, so this is a sequel to the smaller game. It's a so sequel to the smaller game. game. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's why I'm confused. <laughs> what does that look like? I just remembered, like, uh, what's his name? Jared Petty. Because it was supposed to come out in the Vita, it got cancelled, but a few people did get the Vita yeah. version, something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm very... An old school Death- Castlevania. Old school. Get old school with it. Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise. It comes out on July 10th as well. 
I know people are excited I'm, for this. No, I'm so happy for those people that want this game. I'm so yeah, happy. Yeah, there's a lot of people that want this. I don't. The first one looked bad to me. I don't know. It is. Is it bad? Oh, okay. It's supposed to. I think it's part of the charm. My, my missus tried. It's I remember it first jokes. coming out, and I thought my missus really, me and the missus really early days back in the day, and um, she played it. She tried to play it a couple of times because it gave her that Silent Hill vibes, and she's just like, "This is terrible." I'm surprised it's only on Switch though. Yeah, I'm just because they. <laughs> It was a 360 game, though. Yeah, it was originally. Yeah. It was only it's only on Switch, but maybe that's just they got uh, money to buying make it. up weird IPs. Yeah, probably needed this one. Uh, next up, Rocket Arena comes out on July 14th. This it's... is the Ubisoft game, right? Yeah, it's no, it's the EA. Uh, it's the EA game. This is Daniel's oh, game. Daniel's game. This is Daniel's. I love this. It's like Fortnite. Oh, it's love oh, Fortnite. It's not... it's not like Fortnite. It's like a three on three. It it's looks kind of more like, like uh... Fortnite, though, doesn't it? Looks more like Bleeding Edge, I think. Got that cartoon vibe <clears throat> to it. Yeah. Daniel's gonna sit there and do the uh, the, the floss dance. It's coming everywhere except for Switch. I find it weird that it's not coming to Switch. In There's a game coming to Switch though. Is it is a Kingdoms of Amalur coming to Switch? The re release? I don't know. I don't know yeah. That's what's missing on here. Kingdoms of Amalur. Right? It's like September fourth. Yeah. September the eighth. Fucking eight. stupid okay. date. Yeah, that's a terrible day. It's like four days after Tony Hawk and Avengers. I was gonna say, I hope you were gonna mention Avengers. Yeah, because I was open for the event, the August release. I was like, sad. Play goes for July, maybe to to August, and then, and then we get uh, Kingdom of Ramalor for the month, and then uh, and then my life is Avengers after yeah, that. Yeah, there's not really a big uh, August game, is there? I don't think so. Not yet. I think Ghost uh, yeah. of Tsushima is gonna be massive. Yeah, I mean, that'll take me well into August, but certainly I'll beat it at some point. We'll see. Next up, Death Stranding coming out on PC on July 14th. Uh, finally. Don't, finally, don't yeah, definitely. Uh, this don't might be it. my August game. I think this is another one that's going to look amazing on a nice big, right? Yeah. That mean, mm, yeah. Massive widescreen thing. Yeah. Then I can't do that screen, yeah, on my really monitors. Good. If my monitors were the same size... And the same resolutions, I reckon I could get it going. Well, yeah, it'd be great. All you PC dorks can look at a bunch of empty fields. Uh, next up, no, he doesn't like Halo. it, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no. We should do a podcast, shouldn't we? You, you bring one game that we dislike, so we could bring Fortnite. You could bring Bloodborne. No, I would bring Pokemon Go first. Oh my god! Why Pokemon do we? Great, who man. found this guy? Like, come on, Daniel. Come no, on, Connor. I found, I found you two for That was what? such a fun summer. It was such a good summer. Anyway, we, we should do that podcast. The one game we dislike, and we just get to slaughter it. Oh, I get to just rip on Death Stranding the whole time. I like you gotta that. give me time. I'll write pages. I like that. Yeah, I would have to play Death Stranding a little bit to just remember how bad it is. About it. Yeah. Uh, uh, next up, weird. Donkey Kong Country comes out on Switch on July fifteenth. Just weird. Oh, this is this. the the SNES game. It's yeah, coming, yeah, yeah. What's well, coming to the? the it's coming to like the online. Oh, okay. You know, I was thinking of Donkey Kong sixty four actually. So. Oh no! Yeah, this is the first country game. We missed That's the, cool though. It's weird. It's the... not already on there. I was surprised. Yeah, but I I remember when that first got announced and they showed me Mario World and Link to the Past. I was like, sad. 11 o'clock my time yeah. at night, and I'm fucking screaming the house down, like, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, brother. You missed Halo. You, Halo 3. You missed... Did I skip over that? This, oh, is okay. well, this is well shocking. Halo 3. on the, the Halo Master... 3 on the Master Chief Collection on PC on July 14th. You can't play Halo 3 on PC already? No, no, they, no, no, no. They're doing it one game at a time. Oh, so it's uh, it, so it's on the actual Master Chief Collection on the Xbox. Yes, yes they're adding. The oh, game, right, so you know me. Then. That's really awesome. Yeah, You've never pretty. been able to play Halo Three, you know, on PC. So why would you want to play Halo? You oh, played Halo three. One. Best one. They're all three bad. Ones. They're all just generic shooting games. It's funny you're talking about like, games all. people hate. No one hates Halo. <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah. I just I don't hate it. I just don't get it. I don't get the hype. It's just a. It's just shut up, Steve. But once and for Halo, we would be playing modern shooters. That's that's it. Halo's fucking great. Plays great. 
Charles Grey, Keep great stories, man. Such great lore. I it's funny, like... I have a Halo 3 poster right next to me right now. I feel like you two are using oh. your um, Americanism to gang up on me. Oh. Halo is not an Americanism. Everyone loves Halo. No, not oh. me. There's no Halo posters in ears, boys, let me tell you. Oh. Tell Halo a lie. 3, when I was in middle school, uh, if you weren't playing that game, you had no friends. I was like yeah, in right? seventh grade, sixth grade, so yeah, the Warfare. peak of Halo Three. So what you're saying is that you all crumbled for peer pressure, and now you like this terrible game. Oh, I was no, playing it was great. At the, yeah, I was playing two and I'm one at saying. the time too. I'm just on, saying. on the first Xbox. Maybe it is an American thing. I don't know. No, it's not. It, like, I don't think it is. I'm just not an FPS guy. I think that's yeah. I think that's the problem. I will play. I, don't get me wrong. I'll play Halo Infinite. Like, I'm sitting here moaning. I yeah, won't play that play game. It. Okay. Hold you to that. With little space guy. <laughs> space. Little space boy. Phil Spencer's ringing me now. He's like, "What did you say?" It's like little space guy. He's like, "Got it, got it." <laughs> At the end, you find out his name's Loki. All right. We don't. Uh, <laughs> whoa! Spoilers. Oh shit! Sorry. Spoilers for Spider Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. <laughs> find out that Peter Parker is actually Loki. Thor's uncle. <laughs> uh, next up, we'll move on to the bets. Last week's bet was how many Pokemon games are there? I guess 47. Daniel guessed 77. Sims guessed 52. So, mm. Daniel, throw it over to you. How Boy, many Pokemon are there? Uh, it was over 100. <laughs> Way too many. Catch too many no? So, we sat down and counted them. We got 100. I think we we agreed on 122 in total. I've watched a lot yeah. of video. I watched a YouTube video. We've counted them all on Wikipedia. Kind of found something with a definite number. So we all just said over 100. So uh, Daniel, so many. You win this I, week. I thought round. I was gonna win as well. I genuinely thought I had this one. I'd say 20 we each. Uh, we each have. So Connor, you have eight wins right now. We're all pretty close. Connor, you have eight wins. Uh, I have seven wins. And you have, you have eight six. now? Sorry. No, no, you have eight. I have seven. Sims has six. But counting the one you just won, it's still Counting seven. the one I just won. That's okay. seven. I just got the seventh win. Okay, cool. Oh, we're, we're all really close. We still got this, guys. Don't well, worry. technically, I have should be at eight. So. Yeah, no. I mean, technically, no. Because it says I have eight. And you technically have seven. I think, uh, <laughs> I think we should spice <laughs> things up. I think the first one to ten... I think the uh, the, ne the first one to get to ten, there's got to be like some kind of like forfeit. Like one of us have to play. Uh, one of us, the winner gets to choose what game we have to play or whatever. Like a bad game or whatever they want. Like a just bad talk. game. Yeah, like don't do this to me. So like, if you win, you, you kind of win. The last place person do it. Is that what you're saying? Someone like yeah, someone like that. I'm no good with rules. You get punished for being last. Yeah. I thought we were going to wait till the end of the year and then maybe do Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Year to see okay. who has... There's got to be a forfeit. The winner will get something and then the very bottom loser will, will sure. get something I, bad. We'll yeah, something. We'll, we'll figure it out. We have like another six months. We'll figure it out. Whoever... Yeah, let's just give Sim some time because he, he started off a little slow, you know. Yeah, Building up, though. He's already has six. Catching up, yeah. This is, I was just like, a win and, like, go on a streak, though, like a four four win streak. And you guys want to on it. You had like a three win streak for a little bit. I can't believe um, what is the this last of us. The last of us one that screwed me over. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's GameSpot's fault, that is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> What's this week's, Connor? This week's bet, we got another Metacritic score. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, we're going to do the Metacritic score for. Uh, the reviews drop on the 14th, so that's Tuesday. next Tuesday. So, Tuesday, yeah, 2 o'clock my time, that. I think. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. What do we think the Metacritic score will be for Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, Sims, we'll start with you. I like making Sims sweat a little, you know. Oh, I uh... Keep him on his toes. Eight, 89. Say that again. 89. 89. I want to say, I want to go, I want to go 94, but the, there's only nah. one, only one person slipped so up in this whole, like, no one said anything except for one person on Twitter. 
What did he say? Corey Borolog says, Ghost of Shim is pretty good. Oh, okay. Well, Corey <laughs> Borolog likes it. Uh, Daniel. You need yeah. to commit to something. Did you commit to 89? 89, yeah. yeah. 89? Okay. You want me to go next? Yeah. So, oh, I, I did a little I did content. a little research, okay? Ooh. Things spoiling into Ghost of Tsushima, but I did a little research into Sucker Punch. Would you they look up Infamous? Do as well as I thought they did, because Infamous is pretty beloved, but... Oh, What's like Infamous 2? Because that's their best game. Oh, Infamous 1 was reviewed higher. Really? Interesting. Yeah, so... Two is better. I, I I hear that. I know. I It's just, they're all, like, mid-tier in the 80s. Like, I think 86 might have been their highest one. So, I think I might go 87. 87? Wow, you guys are, you guys are close. Um, hey, you, Connor. What do I want to do here? I'm going to go... I'll go high. Fuck it. 91. 91, nice. Wow. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good. I think they're going to have work on this for like five really years. Long. I think they're putting a lot into it. You know, it's a hyped it's up game. Kind of uh, the, uh, the Horizon, like, Gorilla, like, this is going to be the coming out yeah. for Sucker Punch. I feel like Infamous already was that. Oh, lost Daniel. Come on, Daniel. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. Oh, he's back. He's back. Uh, As I was saying. I feel like Infamous already was their horizon. Like, Infamous is good. Like, it's not like a mediocre no, no, no. game That's by any means. Like, Sucker Infamous Punch is, is what I mean. Like, do you think that this is the coming out for Sucker Punch? Like, is this going to be the game that... I feel like that... they've been out. Like, they've been big you for think a while. think so? Okay. Yeah. But like I told I mean, you, like, their games don't review. Yes. They don't review as well. I know, but they've as... not had the big moment with I mean, PS4, I mean, high 80s they? is really good. Like... Yeah, I don't think that they have. I think Sims is right. They've like, not had they their haven't. PS4 moment. They've had their PS3 moment. No, because they... All they've come out with was Second Son, which but that was, was infamous. That was, don't get me wrong, not bad for us. I think people like that game, right? Window, I it? do. I love that game. I, thought it was I great, didn't mind like, it. it. It was the worst infamous for sure. With the spray can. That's the only infamous that, I've actually played. That was played. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best thing ever for the whole PS4 generation as I'm wanking <laughs> on my controller. <laughs> Five years, so seven so years later, I'm still wanking up my controller in last time. Never <laughs> used it again. Right, <laughs> can get the flashlight. But yeah, I I think it'll be good. Uh, I have high hopes for it. I'm actually not like that hyped for it. Like I don't feel like excited for it. I'm more excited for Tuesday because this is one of those games because we've not had a preview for it. We've not had a preview for it. There's that big state of play. So, yeah, but no one's played it. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll do a little. I'll give you a little. Uh, Metacritic scores right now. So Infamous Second Son is at eighty. Infamous First Light is at 73. Infamous 1 is at 85. Infamous 2 is at 83. 83 um, is for 2. Yeah. But, but have you not listened to, like, people are playing this game? No one said they finished it. It's probably pretty big. People are still playing this game. They might not be able to, they might not be able to say that, too. But they, they've always said, like, the weekend, or oh, what are you doing playing Ghost of Tsushima? They've had it a week and a half now. Yeah, yeah very good one. And what are they going to do when they're not recording? And did you say that they go up the reviews Tuesdays? Um, I forgot what Tuesday? time. Okay, seven p.m. p. seven a.m. PDT time. I His time. It's probably like midnight our time or it's whatever. It's probably two o'clock my time. I don't know. I'll have to have a look in a minute. Okay. Yeah, we will see. Yeah, like I, I know Sucker Punch is beloved. You know, and the first two infamous games are beloved. They just don't review that well overall. This is this screams my game though. This is my type of game. Well, I'm very Swords. excited for Ghosts. Uh, I think we're all very happy. World. And I haven't played an open world game in a good couple of months. Do, do you year. guys generally like uh, feudal Japan stuff? I, I like Samurai. That's the thing. We don't really have a lot of games with this. No. No, I, I just mean media, like movies and any, no, anything. Do you like feudal really. Japan? Uh, uh, I really love uh, like Seven Samurai. And, uh, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Seven samurai. Teen assassins. Yeah, uh, a lot of good samurai. Movies. Yeah, I'm into it for sure. This time last okay. next week, we'll know all about it, boys. Yeah, we'll find out. Anything else? Sam? Yeah, we won't, won't play a regular game this week, but in our yeah. predictions. Well, yeah, we did the predictions for the game. So, with that, that was the Nerdic Gods podcast. Thank you for listening. Make sure you like, uh, subscribe, tell your grandma. Uh, tell everyone about us, you know? I mean, we're the new 
we're the new hot thing on the market, you know? That's oh, what I feel like. Please, you know? hit that subscribe button. Yeah, please. Hit that subscribe yeah, please. button. Wanna, well, why don't we join you now? Because I feel like yeah. we deserve a URL. We get a URL, official one, at 100 subscribers. Oh, really? Yeah, That's yeah. what we need. Yeah, um, we need that. We need 100 subscribers. So please, tell your friends so we can get 100 subscribers. And if you're like a, a listener that listens like frequently, feel free to leave a comment. We will interact with you. Give you a shout out in the fucking please. show. Please, you can join in if you want. Come to my yeah. house, <laughs> sit in the back. I'll get you a chair. Yeah. I'm not bothered. Uh, I'll get you some shitty coffee and some fucking biscuits. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> Crackers or whatever he calls them. Yeah, whatever. And with that, say goodbye, guys. Everybody. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Please.